So I'm going to start in three, two, one. Let's go. Alright, so this is Neopets of the Darkest Fairy. It's for the PS2, and it's an RPG that Neopets made, uh, I believe, back in 2005. Dang it. <laughs> I don't remember. That. Anyways, um, it starts out where you're supposed to help your sister gather up all these little, like, dog like I things. I have no idea what they're called anymore. But I don't like doing that. In fact, this whole area here, uh, you're supposed to, like, help out your family, do some chores. But instead, I'm gonna go collect some money. Oh, nice. I got some little extra here. Uh,. And if we can just jump across, we're good. Alright. So yeah, this whole first section is just a bunch of chores. Uh, however, I don't like chores. Ch oh, camera, what are you doing? <laughs> the chores here are very long, and they just take a bunch of time. It involves, like, hurting these little things that are running around, uh, helping your father repair a machine, but if I come over here and rotate my camera, please game, thank you, um, you can climb on top of this wall, and we're out of bounds. So this is a majority of the game. <laughs> and I... So this is the speedrun. We're going to find numerous ways to enter out of bounds, um, and by going out of bounds we can skip a lot of the sections that we're not supposedly supposed to go to. Um, but for some reason, uh, when I have the original map loaded, the map in between isn't loaded. I don't know why, but the map over here is loaded. Uh, there are certain times where this happens and I don't understand why, but this helps us go straight from one point to the next. And if I come over here, the map, this will be the third map, um, will load. And now I can just continue on from where I left off. Oh shoot. Um, but there's a reason why I grabbed the 200 EO points at the start. Um, and then there's a reason why I'm gonna little sidetrack right here. Um, I could go straight to the castle right now to collect uh, a shield. But in order to get a shield I need a sword. And in order to get a sword I need money. And this area over here gives me just enough money that after collecting the first chest and collecting this, I have enough to buy a sword. And that sword's needed to get the shield, and the sword and shield are both necessary for completing the run, because I have to go to fight some boss fights. This guy's gonna hit me. Hmm, he didn't hit me? Okay. Oh, he came close. <laughs> So now I'm just gonna exit this area, go collect my reward from a quest I haven't even started yet. <laughs> we should be good. Um, one note, one thing to note is I will be running this entire time. We're gonna go fast. And we're gonna try and not talk to him again. Alright. Uh, ladders in this game, you can climb them, but I like to jump them up them because it's faster. Uh, for some reason, when you climb up a ladder, it puts you into a grounded state when you let go, so you can just jump right away. There's also text boxes that put you into grounded states, and we'll be doing some text jumping um, for more faster movements which we'll see up here in a sec. Uh, also this leaf thing in front of me is called a leaf moat, and there's a little cutscene that plays when you pick it up, but if you're in the air while you pick it up, there's no cutscene. So, save the frames, guys. Alright, so we've entered Meridel, and this would be technically, like, the start of Act 1. Um, but we skip a lot of the things required uh, from the farm. So from the farm, we're supposed to leave with a sword, but we don't have a sword. And we don't even have a package to become our squire. 
Because the only reason why we're supposed to be here now is, uh... <clears throat> your father requests that you deliver a package to this town. Um, these thieves steal your package that you don't currently have, but they're gonna give it to you anyways because that's how the story plot works. It's a clever, clever way to build it. Um, this guy is still on package, so I'm just gonna chase him down. And here's the text jumping right here. If I jump and talk to him, I get a slight speed boost and I'm able to pass that guy. It's not too huge, it saves like frames, but you gotta save all the frames in a speedrun. Um, this guy can be a bit finicky, his text box kinda lags. Hmm. But it's, oh wow, I jumped too soon <laughs> and cancelled all my speed. Oops. Alright, so... Water warps you to certain points on the map, and this water just so happens to warp me a little bit closer to my destination. In fact, if I were to fall in any water surrounding the uh, this castle here, I would spawn right back where I just spawned. And we'll be using that to advantage later on. Um, right now I'm going to the arena. But in order to fight in the arena, I do need a sword, so I'm going to come over here to this nice community sword placed item shop and buy a sword with the money I just collected. I'm then going to equip my leaf moat. Um, this leaf moat has an elemental base of earth, and when used, it does more damage than a normal sword, and it will do uh, more damage to things that are weak to earth. But I'm doing, using it for the more damage, because uh, it speeds up a lot of these fights. Alright, so this is the arena. Uh, first reward you get is a shield, and then after that we'll be completing all of arena for money. Um, I need a thousand neo points for a uh, secret entrance later on in the run. And while I'm at it, I'll just finish it up for uh, extra money for speed potions. Alright, I got a quick kill. That's nice. So, this reward with the shield. I don't want to talk to her right away, or else I'll sometimes skip the shield. You can, like, mash through... Um, as you come out and you can talk to her right away and instantly enter, but there is a slight chance that you will lose your reward, so I'm going to avoid that for now. Um, this Ixie here uh, is very, very weak. Um, in fact, we can shield cancel our attacks, so we just unlock them. Oh shoot, <laughs> I missed the shield cancel. But yeah. If you hold shield while attacking, uh, You'll have no lag when you come out of your third attack, so you can just attack right again. Really helps and speeds up a lot of these fights. In fact, it will hmm. loop one of the boss fights later on. But I'll show you how to do that later. Um, this one is Sludgy. Sludgy is very RNG dependent, and I really don't want him to kill me. There are there are some RNG strains to this guy, and he will, in fact, kill you. Uh, side swing? Good. Oh no. Oh no, please, Sludgy. Not like this. I want him to do a side swing, it's the only thing I can counter. Alright. I could have gone better, but I didn't die. <laughs> if he kills me, it wastes like 30. What, no, 30. Each fight is like 40 seconds. Alright, um, next up is a Skeletal Warrior, I guess what it's called. Um, but he's just get combos to death. A lot of these are just getting combos, so I'm just going to kind of stop talking and just like complete the next two, and that'll be the end of Arena. 
right. He actually gave me a good pattern there. Sometimes he can shield, uh, but he decided to attack, so I could just keep looping him. Hmm. And last battle, where loop. Uh, this guy has probably the highest chance of killing me, but odds are he won't, because I should not do this fight. Alright. So, the way that fight works is I hit him once, I wait a second for him to attack, and then he's off guard, and you just hit him again. Oh dang, I didn't get the double. You can get two text jumps right there, and it's it looks really clean. But by completing all of Arena, I got 4,250 Neo points, um, a thousand of which is going to a secret entrance. Um, 250 is going straight to health restoratives, and then the other 3,000 is going straight to uh, speed potions. Aw, oh, dang. That one's pretty hard. You can text jump up that one sign there. Again, it saves frames, but it's really, really clean if you can get all three of them. Um, so now we're going to a point in the game which we're not supposed to be at. This will be uh, chapter three, and we're only in chapter one. Or, well, act one. I say chapter because it just sounds nicer. But they're really acts. <laughs> uh, but in order to get to chapter 3, we're gonna come to this water here, and if I time it correctly, it's frame perfect, no lie. Alright, good. If I cancel an animation as I hit the, lo the death plane, or loadout plane, whatever we're playing, um, I do am able to walk on this water, and there's a spot over here. That's just outside, if I jump, that allows me to get out of bounds. And out of bounds in this game is basically this open wasteland of pure collision. I've run out here for 15 hours and I'm still running. Like, it's ridiculous how much collision there is out here. Um, but I need to load th uh, two different maps here. Uh, first map is right here. If I run this way... Alright, that's one map. If you can tell the music changed, that just means that's one way I know that, that changed. Um, but I'm going to run out here now, because now there's a lot of collision to my right, and I want to avoid that. I kind of have to loop around this giant thing and then come up on it again to get to the next loading zone. See if I know how to count. This whole like walking section right here is like 30 seconds of just going straight. Oh no, that's gonna mess me up. 20... 25... 30? Okay. So now I'm coming around the bottom side of it. And if I can do this correctly, which I should be able to. This whole right side here, or this whole collision on the right side likes to suck you back in inbounds. I really don't want to go back inbounds. Inbounds is a big no no. Alright, once these rocks spawn, I'm pretty safe. Alright. This load sometimes takes a couple pauses to get, but if you load the map, um, it automatically swaps if you're close by. So now, where am I? I didn't check. Okay. So now we're in the third map. This is Cogham Steeps, and beneath Cogham Steeps is the mines, and in the mines is where Act 3 is. And if I come to the right side of it and jump, 
I can load myself into the mines, and welcome to Act 3. <laughs> oh nice, that's very lucky. Uh, Neo points is the second best thing I can get from here. Uh, really, it's just for safety. Uh, I'll use it for health restorative items, just for pure safety. Uh, but yeah. Right there I picked up a... I believe it's a smoke moat? Yep, smoke moat. Uh, I need one of each of the six elements in order to complete the game, but if I don't pick up all six, it's fine because it gives me it gives me all six at the end. Uh, but it just like wastes a bit of time. But here I have to go through the mines, and the whole premise of these mines is I'm supposed to save all the miners from the town uh, and like escort them out, sort of. But I like to say this game is very well coded, and if you just rescue the mayor, you save all the miners. So there's that. Oh shoot, don't hit me. Ah, dang it. Oh, that was one else. That's one of the bad drops you can get. That's okay though. The good drops you can get from there is a Mirka speed potion. The speed potion saves 45 seconds. The money is just safety. And then there's a supernova mode and a nova mode. Supernova is the third best, and the Nova mode is the fourth best. And, yeah. The Nova and Supernova are just rainbow-aligned elements. But the Supernova does more damage than any other mode in the game. So it would help a lot on some of the boss fights, and just, like, speed things up in general. Alright, so this lava here is a game over if I do hit it but I can just maneuver around here. I'm gonna get hit from these uh, minecarts because if I jump and get hit, then I know... Oh god. Then I, if I jump and get hit, uh, you just keep flying until you're on the ground. Dude, talking is very hard. Let me just say that. <laughs> Alright, so this is one of the boss fights we're gonna loop. If I let for him to come over here, shield cancel. This is a really bad spot. I'm just gonna move out of the way. That fireball right there would have killed me. Alright, so we looped him to death. Ideally, you don't want him to run over there, but that's fine. Um, Really what happens, why I had to move there, was there's fireballs that spur out. It doesn't kill you, but it just damages you and like ruins your whole combo and waste time. It's okay though. I'm gonna wait for this fireball, because if it hits you, you can't grab this ledge. And if you don't grab the ledge, then you're dead. <laughs> Simple as that. Alright. So this is the mayor, only person I have to save, really. There's like five other miners that you could have saved, but this is the only one that's important. Alright, so this was part of Act 3. Um, the reward for saving the mayor here is a cloak. And the cloak is a broken item, which I'll be showing very, very shortly. But before I show the cloak off, I have to go collect a couple of the rainbow aligned elements. The um, reason why I'm picking these up is they're pretty much on the way, and they do speed up the boss fights. So that's Supernova. Ah, oh, dang it, and jump. <laughs> also, off of all these letters I'm holding, uh, L2. And what this does is it skips the jump animation, it locks my camera, and I can't jump. Here to click my reward now. All 
Oh, whatever. <laughs> Splits don't matter. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, about that. Alright, so right there was the um, was one of the item shops you can go into. Um, that one specifically sells health restorative items and magic restorative items. Um, for health restorative and magic restorative, there's these juppies as well as other um, more... Basically, the higher you go in the tier list of the restorative items, the more they restore. But juppies are by far the cheapest, and they're pretty much all I need. Um, Juppies cost like 25 Neo points each, and so I just bought a bunch of them. Normally, I only buy 10, but I got the extra Neo points in other mines, which allows me to buy a bit more. But now I'm going to the end of Act 1, and that's the reason why I got the cloak. Um, the cloak allows me to. Uh, well, I'll show you when I get there. But by getting the cloak now, I can actually skip to the end of Act 1 and complete that before that having to be a squire, go through all the training. It just takes hours, honestly. Like, if you were to do this game, um, glitchless, I believe the SDA time was 4 hours and 35 minutes. But that was from a while ago, that was like 2007. But yeah, um, the next area that I'm going to is over here. Text jump. Save the frames. And this is a bit of a walking section. Um, there will be a, quite a few walking sections in this game, but after this section specifically, we'll be getting speed potions, and they'll go, they'll go like they'll be gone in a blink of an eye. <laughs> the speed potions save so much time. And it's one of the reasons why I rerouted the game to buy them, where I do. Alright, so, water moats, oh no. I jumped over it. Alright, so this over here is Ilsen's Glade. Uh, the boss here is Narfus. Basically the whole, the whole thing of Ilsen's Glade um, is your knights are trapped by the evil Wereloop King, and you have to go and save them all. Uh, I won't be saving all my fellow knights as a spoiler, I'm sorry. <laughs> but instead, I will be defeating the boss fight of the area, which is basically the same as saving all my fellow knights. Uh, just I don't save them myself. They free themselves. So I've come to this ledge, look here, uncloak, Hold back and press X. I fly out of bounds. <laughs> oh, don't fall, please. <sighs> um, and while we're out of bounds here, uh, oh no, okay. just fall. Okay, this is really weird. I'm not used to this. My camera got turned around. All right, we're good. We're fine. <laughs> Alright, so now that we're out of bounds, we can run over here. Uh, there's a wall that was blocking us, but now that we're past the wall, uh, if we run to this section over here, for some reason, and I don't know why, but I'm glad this works. <laughs> we come over here and jump. Oh, dang. I wasn't hugging the wall. Uh, we spawn up on top of this tree. And by jumping very carefully, we can get back onto the main platforms. And this skips saving all of your knights. Um, but the one problem with this is I have to run back down to the bottom of this in order to spawn the boss fight, but that's okay. <laughs> because I've just basically skipped all of Act 1 by doing that one um, clip. So running back down to the bottom here, I'm going to wait a second because sometimes the boss fight doesn't load and then I have to run all the way back down. It's embarrassing, trust me, I've done it before. Uh, 
Normally, it's sort of like nice music to listen to. I don't know why. Sometimes you like skip over the music triggers, and it's like silent like this. Birds are pretty nice though. Um, I a long time ago I played Neopets, but I lost my account, so I don't. So, I only play this game if I'm playing anything Neopets related. Alright, so this is the boss fight here. Um, I'm going to swap to the Supernova. Um, for s boss fights, for some reason, do not diminish your um, Nova Motes. So, by using the Supernova, I'm doing the most damage I can. And I'll keep you for the entire run, honestly. There's only one bite that diminishes your moat. Oh god. Um, no, this is the worst possible luck that could happen. Uh, this is annoying. Alright, whatever. Uh, after three hits, he goes into the next phase, but I did a lot of damage there. Uh, there's something called multi-hits, and it's basically as the name sounds. It's completely random, though. If I get it, you'll hear it. Oh my god, dude. That was Narfus. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward, you just kind of want to avoid his attacks um, and hope for the best, honestly. The multi hits just destroy him. You can, like, two combo him if you get good multi hits. Alright, so there's one thing uh, about the cloak is there's three cutscenes in the game that actually break your cloak. And the only way to, s to fix the cloak is by resetting your console. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to go find the closest save point and reset. Um, and the closest save point is just right over here. I would reset actually later when I need the cloak again, but there is a uh, ledge flight that does save time uh, beforehand, so I'm going to reset here. So now i got to wait for the game to load again, and we're just going to come back load file 1 again, where I just saved, and continue the run. And I'll be doing that a couple times, um, I'll be doing like one or two safety saves as well, but really I'm never going to save too many times. Alright, load game, and then file 1, which is the first file. <laughs> I just have to match X for it. Uh, I need to come back here. Shoot. And I really don't like running around, so I'm just going to go through. So I come to this ledge here, angle myself off in this direction. Oh god, sometimes it's a bit finicky because the camera tries and auto-centers. You can drop any time, thank you. So yeah, we're out of bounds again, and there is some water underneath here, which I'm going to go hit. Even though it's above me, it's still low enough to trigger the warp. Alright. 
I don't like walking around, so I'm just gonna warp over here as well. <laughs> now we're going to the Dark Knights and the Black Knights, um, which is in Treasure Town. Uh, the reason why I'm going over here for the Dark Knight and Black Knight, even though Dark Knight and Black Knight are in Act 3, uh, since I advanced myself to the end of Act 1, I've currently locked myself out of the castle, and inside the castle is where I need to go in order to finish Act 1. So, by coming over here to Dark Knight and Black Knight, I enter... I get a secret entrance into the castle, basically. And that is what I'll be using to get back into the castle. Um, but you're not supposed to be over here. I mean, you can come over here, but you're not supposed to be over here. Um, similar to Ellison's <laughs> Glade. Wow, I failed. If I come to this edge here, I can grab it. But grabbing waste time. Alright, good. I can just fly across, hit my feet, and just keep running. Um, and the game like tells me that this character is called Roberta, even though I've never seen a Roberta in my life. My character's name is Tor, by the way. So I don't know why they're giving me dialogue for Roberta. Who is this Roberta? But actually, Roberta is a, is your uh, sidekick. However, Roberta does like zero damage, so we never use her ever until a final boss fight when you're it's mandatory. Um, this will be the last slow paced running section. Um, again, I'm not supposed to be here, and unfortunately, I can't speed this up because I didn't get a speed potion early on. But no big deal. Um, this ultimately just like helps out in the run. In fact, this this running section is pretty much already over. Once I hit this corner, we're uh, gonna be ledge flying back into an area I'm not supposed to be in. But really, for this side quest, um, you go back to Meridel, uh, talk to a bunch of thieves. And they'd reward you with this entrance by p giving them the treasure from Treasure Town. Or is it Market Town? I don't remember. Oh no, this guy's in a really bad spot. Yeah, I had to dodge that. Alright, good. Um, by the way, those blue things, if they hit me, they f slow me. And there's one where they sh would fire there, so I just did a couple jumps to be safe. And slow, like, just... Oh my god, it's... It's terrible. It's one of the worst possible debuffs you can get in the game. Um, but now we're heading to the Black Knights. Or, you know, Dark Knights, my bad. <laughs> um, there's three of them guarding this entrance here, and I have to kill all three in order to get inside. But this one usually just dies fairly easy if he doesn't move. Uh oh, he's, he's hitting me. Uh oh. This is bad. Alright. We salvaged it. Um, so jump attacks deal the max damage. Oh, more money. I don't need that. They also don't... Jump attacks also... Oh my god. These two are like the hardest boss in the game. Um, jump attacks deal the most damage, and they don't drain as much of your Nova Motes as, as others. Oh my god. Why is it lagging? Alright. I need the Nova Mo the Super Nova Moat for the rest of the run, so I'm going to swap to Nova Moat, which is just as good. So they don't have a light moat. Why is it lagging though? It never lags here. Actually, no, it's lagged here before, but it's like very rare it lags. Okay, you're being really annoying. Oh, 
I need to just like please just stop attacking me. Oh, I got a silver nag, that's like terrible RNG. I was hoping for supernova motes, because if I got a supernova mote, I would just use that for the rest of the run, but no big deal. Also, they can drop money, which is very useful because they don't have to open a chest if they do. I got, what, 400 from them? 400, unfortunately, is not enough, and I will have to open a chest later on. Um, but we're now we're in the t this town, and it's filled with Dark Knights. <laughs> and they're just gonna keep smacking at me, but I don't care. <laughs> they do, like, no damage. Over here is where I'm supposed to be for Black Knight, and a little bit of movement tech here. I'm just gonna fly across this gap. Save the frames. Aw, oh, dang it. Jumped a bit too early. If you jump into these, you can instantly start climbing, but if you jump too early, then if you're falling, um, then you just like get stuck on it. It's okay. It's frame savers. Doesn't matter. <laughs> um, so this section over here, if, if you haven't been paying attention, I hope that there's a overarching theme of how the skips and tricks work. And if you can't guess that I'm clipping through this wall, oh no, uh, it bounces this way. Yes, okay. That angle was actually rather poor, but it still works. Oh shoot, I tried to save frames. <laughs> Alright, we're good. I was trying to skip that whole ending animation of climbing over the ladder. But oh well. Um, these portions here you're supposed to slowly walk over. Ooh. But if you jump, you don't have to... Jumping resets you back to the normal speed. Oh, please, dude. So if you jump on the portions where you're supposed to like walk, um, you actually don't get slowed down. Also, wow. Uh, I'm gonna actually see if I can get some drops here. Alright, I'll take this. I used quite a bit of juppies, unfortunately, when fighting the when fighting the other uh, Dark Knights. And I still need to damage boost my way through here, because it's slower to kill them. But at the top of this is where the Black Knight is, and once the Black Knight happens, he basically gets destroyed. They're good boss fights. This corner here is destroyer of runs. <laughs> Alright, kid. That corner is like. Like, these corners here are so misleading. They stick out, and then if you try and, like, cut them, you just, like. The camera flips on you. It's dumb, and I hate it. <laughs> also, you can just like fall off here and waste a minute, so I'm gonna go slow. Line myself up and just jump across. And now we're basically at the top of the castle. Um, swap back to Supernova for the boss fight. Um, this boss fight does drain my Supernova, but only if I clank on him. If I don't clank on his like armor, I don't lose Supernova. But I saved just enough so I wouldn't. Even if I did clank, I'd still have it for later. All right, so this is the boss fight. He's basically a suit of armor with a giant sword. Um, I'm just gonna hold shield and it's just gonna clank every single time. He's actually very predictable if you stand in certain locations. Um, I'm standing underneath the chandelier, and what this does is it causes him to shoot his sword up. Oh, dang. Alright, that's why I ran away. Um, sometimes he can charge at you for no random reason. I was wanting him to do the sword on the chandelier. But it's fine. Uh, 
Oh no, please hit him. Alright. So now he's forced into another attack, but spinning his sword around and exposing his main weakness. And I just kind of void his sword. And he's pretty much dead. Oh, too close. Too far. This hitbox right here is one of the hardest hitbox in the game. <laughs> it's very misleading. Alright, so now that we're done with Black Knight, uh, we have to go collect a reward, and this reward allows us to get into the castle, and we can finish Act 1. Very annoying load trigger right here. Jump, please. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so now that the town is back to normal, um, we can go see the... I believe... I don't remember what they're called. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm forgetting names and I feel like an idiot right now. But I'm gonna go collect my reward from the people that I was supposed to start the quest from, but in this game, if you get the reward, you can still start the quest and collect the reward. So I, just, I finished the quest without ever having it, and this cutscene is going to seem a bit weird. Really this cutscene is supposed to show that they're really distressed, and that the Black Knight is like really controlling them, but they look really happy for some reason, even though they're arguing about the Black Knight. Um, and in that cutscene he says if Whoever can save our town will get the Gilded Treasure. Uh, and he's like, well, I wasn't supposed to give this to you, but I said it anyways and you took my offer. Thanks for saving the town. Take our treasure. I'm sorry I said that. <laughs> um, in this shop, I'm going to buy Mirka Speed Potions. I buy down to a thousand. If I buy any more, and I like, have less than a thousand, um, I can't actually complete the game. I'd have to farm for Neo Point somehow. But it's not a problem. You just like mash slowly, and you get down to a thousand. No big deal. See how many do I have? I have eight. Normally to have six, so I got two extra. All right, we're good. Getting those extra two means I don't have to open a chest later on, which is really good. <laughs> I'm glad it happened. <laughs> um, but there's there's a reason why I was going out of bounds when I first came here. Is this giant invisible wall here? Um, but this corner here is just big enough that I can do that. Alright, so now we're back out of bounds again. And this wall is right here. And we're back in bounds again. And now I'm just going to speed potion our way through all these walking sections so they're not terribly slow. We're going super fast now. Um, but now we're completing Act 1. And... Yeah, once we complete Act 1, we go straight into Act 2, and Act 2 is rather uh, rather glitchless, but still, still okay. But out of boss fights, I believe that was the final boss fight until Act 3. Because we did, we did, okay, let me rephrase that, we did our uh, Act 3 boss fights in Act 1, but I only did them because I needed them, their rewards, to complete Act 1 very quickly. So as soon as we're done with Act 2, we're gonna go straight from the end of- we're gonna go straight from the start of Act 3 to the end of Act 3, because I've already finished Act 3. So I basically killed two birds with one stone by completing all the, act, the two Act 3 bosses in Act 1. There's a lot more Act 3 bosses, but I only need to do those two. In fact, I only need to do that one. 
No, I lied. If I was doing a casual playthrough, I'd have to do them all, because uh, the rewards are very much needed to complete the game. But we're doing speedruns, so I don't have to do those too. But yeah, this world's pretty open, but I'm glad I <laughs> we ratted out the speed potions here, because it's not as boring. Uh, but now there's a lot of monsters here since I defeated Narfus. So, oh, nice visual effects. Ooh. <laughs> Anyways, the monsters here, but since we're in a speed potion, they can't really touch us. Sometimes they'll land like one hit, but that's very rare. This guy's in my way. Um, wow. Very rare. This guy you can only talk to when you have the cloak on. So we put the cloak on, and I'm going to use the cloak anyways to get out of bounds again. Spoilers. <laughs> um, this guy starts the quest for the Guild of Treasure from Treasure Town. And then if I talk to him again, I just give him the treasure and complete the quest. Alright, so he gives me access to the sewers, and in the sewers, uh, at the end of this, goes into the castle. So if I climb up on this ledge, look off over here, and ledge fly, <laughs> uh, we're out of bounds again. And the reason why I have to go out of bounds here is I need the hookshot, or the rope gun, as they call it in this game. What a dumb name. <laughs> uh, I need the rope gun for getting through all of this section, and I don't have it. So I'm going out of bounds and escaping the rope gun section and going straight to the like end of it. And if I come over here while this is still unloaded, hit this door, and load everything, and it takes a bit for it to load, but if I stop at just the right point, and like walk over here in circles, I clip out of bounds again, past the door. Oh shoot, went too far. And going past that door is where the ancient sword is, and I need this sword. Not really, but it's like in the way, so we're gonna grab it. Um, there's a huge fight here. The old route required you to buy a ton of juppies so you'd survive this fight. Oh no. Please don't aggro. <laughs> Alright, good. Um, but for some reason, if you hit any of these walls over here and just come over here, uh, it triggers this to explode. <laughs> like, why would you put that as a trigger? Like, apparently you just feed them all. But... <laughs> we have the Ancient Sword now, and the door is open, so... C congratulations, we've com we've defeated these three hard... like... enemies. Um, I'm gonna save my game here just for pure safety. Um, this section is very, very hard, and if I can get this correctly, I'll be very happy. I've, like, practiced this for hours, so... It's not terribly hard, though. It's just very impressive, and it requires a lot of, um, attention. Oh, this guy is very loud. Um, but I'm gonna pick up these speed potions here because they're each one of these saves 45 seconds. I'll just add that little key fact in, and if I can just grab them, that's just free time save. All right, so this boss fight here. Oh, please grab the ledge, thank you. All right, if you stand there, by the way, he it breaks his aggro and he doesn't do any attack. Um, but if I ledge fly all the way over here, this is actually the end of the boss fight. Um, so when you defeat him, and you can collect your reward. Oh my god, collision in this game is absolutely terrible. Alright. And then, since the next area is required for that I had the rope gun, I'm gonna come over here out of bounds. And then, wow, the potion ran off, I was so slow. So now it's completely pitch black, 
And all I can do here is use my muscle memory to navigate out of bounds. There's a bunch of water here that if I do hit, it will kill me instantly, which is why I saved. Um, but I'm looking for specific cues on my map. And very particular audio cues. I didn't go too far. So this one's coming up right here. So I use that, and run on. All right, swap that. All right, these sledges here um, are very annoying, and before I didn't kill them, and now if I I realize that if I kill them, oh nice, um, it makes it so much easier. All right, so there's an elevator shaft here. And we're currently in the elevator right now, but as soon as I can open my map, I'm out of it. Uh, shoot. Alright, there we go. And then... oh, I didn't hit it. Hello? Game? Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, nice, I hit it right away. So there's a ladder here, and this ladder is the loading zone to actually leave the area. So there you go. It's not terribly hard. It's just those sludgies were very annoying back when I first like was learning the game, and now that you kill the sludgies, it's just like it's not. It's so easy. It's it's almost free, but it's not because you have to navigate in the pure darkness. But now that we've gotten out of the sewers, uh, we can just enter the castle and complete Act One. So if I run up here. And finish Act 1. Don't hit me. That's rude. A little stutter step, nice. Please don't hit me. <laughs> Anything but damage right now is good. Anyway, so this cutscene right here shows you that the king has been overtaken by the Darkest Fairy. And now the Darkest Fairy sees you, sees you not under control, and now wants to kill you. So I'm going to stand by this door, and they're going to break it open. I'm going to stand by this pillar, hopefully get a long snipe. Good. Wow. Good targeting. And if I look by this lamp, ledge fly out of bounds, please game, ledge fly. Let's fly is actually very easy and consistent. Um, I'm up at the top of the map here, and if I walk just over here outside of bounds, I can walk just the end, skip all the cutscenes. And that's Act 1. Um, and now we're going to enter Act 2. Act 2 is the Roberta chapter and introduces the second main character. Um, but <laughs> Roberta doesn't get a whole lot of action. She gets like at least 10 minutes. And that's it. Um, but the, re the whole gimmick is Roberta's the mage, Tor is the melee. Um, we never upgrade Roberta's item, so she always has the default wands, and that wand is <sighs> has terrible DPS. It can just like fire shots very quickly, but they do no damage. It's really saddening. Um, also, when you start um, Roberta's story, all your items from Tor are gone, but you do get enough money to buy two Mirica speed potions, which are conveniently right here. <laughs> so I'll be using those two throughout this to speed things up. A bit of dialogue here. And really, my main objective right now is to collect enough items to make my wand. Um, usually, you'd like talk to all these people and then co see this guy and he says, Go find your wand pieces. And I'm like, Okay. But instead of going to see him to know that I'm going to go grab him and then talk to him, just like I've done with every other quest in this game so far. If I hold the right angle here. 
This one's always weird because your camera flips like randomly. Sometimes you get it though. Dang it. <laughs> if you're like, so the way the camera works is if you're holding to the side, it tries auto center. So if you hold too much to the side, um, your camera will just like f fly to one direction. It's annoying. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And so up on the top of this tree, it's conveniently placed a stick. And this stick is important because it's part of our wand. Please. Thank you. Small text jump here. Bit of speed. And then there's one more item I'm going to collect, and that's some pixie dust. And this pixie dust is just the end, the third piece for our wand. And once I get the wand, I'm just going to run away from absolutely everything. Because <laughs> there's no point in fighting everything, because you do no damage. Oh, fairy dust, my bad. So this game does give you tutorials, and this will be the only tutorial I am going to do. This tutorial is how to use your wand. <laughs> Alright, so I'm using very specific combos. And these specific combos are doing a lot of damage, as well as speeding up a f the whole tutorial. Before you used to spam, and if you spam there was a chance of you actually dying, <laughs> because you couldn't kill the book fast enough. But thankfully I figured out that if you did combos it does more damage. Um, bit of a running section right here. Nothing to do here, all I have to do is go to my bed and sleep. Staircases, we camera flipping, nice. <laughs> and then if I walk on the right side here, I skip a dialogue with the stupid characters. They're like, your room is this way, please follow me. And you just like run ahead of them anyways. Slows you down. That's a fall, uh, uh, <clears throat> that's one of the elements that I need, oh wow, she just ran into the wrong direction. I wanted her to run outside, but not that way. Oh, uh, where am I? Okay. Don't hit me. Oh, camera, why are you flipping on me? That's so rude. Alright. Cutting right here. Um, this cutscene show is like, uh, there's a, the person that gave you the pendant before, uh, is in trouble. Uh, but now we're gonna go save her. In order to save her, we have to make the most ridiculous noise possible, uh, and it's a clock. <laughs> we have to go activate the clock in this area. Don't hit me, please. What are you guys doing? Don't hit me. Oh my god. These guys will, like, these flying enemies will hit you no matter what you do. And it's really annoying because you just get stunned. Alright, if I can push these correctly, I can cancel my forward momentum by pushing to the side and just, like, push them in instantly. See if we can get it out of one of these. That was pretty good. It's like just quarter circles, but very well timed quarter circles. Ah, oh well, that's pretty good. 
Um, so these gears here are non-existent. They're just here for visual looks. So you can just like clip right through them, like so. Oh dang it! <laughs> I got hit on the stupid ledge. But you get my point. They're just they're just there for show, and sometimes you just like pass right through them. It's, it's kind of funny. Um, but whenever you're going to the side here, oh wow. Um, where am I? I hope I went up the stairs. I couldn't tell. I accidentally dragged it out of the spot, and I replaced Robert in a weird area. Ah, uh, dang it. Whatever. Use my last Mirka Speed Potion, because this is the end of Act 2. I just kind of have to run back there. Alright, so now she's going to be saved. Uh, the cutscene will trigger. We save her. Darkest Fairy gets really mad because we saved her. Sorry, Darkest Fairy. Had to happen. And now we have to escape the castle. Not a castle, but... We have to escape Fairyland, which is this area. Um, but the main entrance will not work which will be pointed out right here in this cutscene that I'm not going to watch because dumb cutscenes are dumb. And they just take up time, honestly. So instead of taking that entrance, we're going to go down the um, staircase. It's got a name, hold on. <laughs> The Endless Staircase, oh my god, it's such an easy name to know. <laughs> but the Endless Staircase isn't really endless, you can get through it. It's called Endless, because if you don't know the secret trick, it's seemingly endless. I kinda wanna do this blind though, it's fun. Sometimes the camera can lock up here and I hope it doesn't do that, but if it does, it's kinda funny. Oh, it almost did. Alright, so these little statues on the left side direct you down the staircase. Um, it's all dependent on their right hand, um, but really all I have to do is just hit them. And thankfully enough, they're in a set pattern. Um, it's two steps down, one step up, two steps down, one step up, two steps down, and you're out. So all I have to do is just hit them and we'll be good. Which is a very classic pattern. And then once we get here, we just have to run to the door and we're out of Act 2. In Act two, The end of Act 2 is another one that breaks my cloak, because I'm not supposed to have the cloak now. Um, so this will break my cloak, and I'll have to like say reset. No big deal. Good cutscenes. Alright, my heroes are united. There's Tor. Uh, Roberta comes later on in the cutscene, but you'll never see her again until the end of Act 3. Um, but all my stuff that I had from Roberta is combined with Tor. So I have so like three extra juppies. Um, I don't have any extra Mirka speed potions. I use them all up on Roberta. But my point is. <laughs> You just like collect all your stuff. I get some extra money, but I don't care about money at this point either. But I do keep the uh, light moat that I grabbed. Light and th I believe it's wind moat? I grabbed two moats with Roberta, and those will be transferred over, and I'll use them later on. Dude, this game loads so fast. <laughs> 2005, okay. <laughs> That's the year it's made. <laughs> I am terrible with dates. Also, the P in Neopets is capitalized? What? <laughs> it's the first time I noticed that. Um, Alright, so the one small catch here is we, have, we did some bosses in Act 3 already. And there are supposed to be some enemies like surrounding this area, 
But because we did those bosses, uh, the enemies aren't here. As well as the... Oh, shoot. This one's kind of a bit tricky. Uh, the barrier blocking us doesn't disappear until we beat the enemies. So I have to go a second route in order to get past. And I got the slow version. Uh... Please, game, don't do this to me. Thank you. So if I come over here now, do a couple jumps around this tree, we're outside past that invisible barrier, and now comes another um, thing. In order to get past the barrier back into the castle, I'd have to go and get and revive Illison. Um, and Illison was... Uh, Oh my god, that's not what you do. That's Act 1. <laughs> Illicin was um, compromised uh, after we seated Narfus, and all of her stuff was taken away that ke kept her pure. Um, but I don't really want to go save Illicin because it's a really long and tedious side quest, so instead I'm going to just run past everything here and go find another area to go out of bounds in and get past it. Um, but this this specific out of bounds, if I don't get right away, I'm going to be a bit upset <laughs> because there's just so much that happens. That blue guy on the left there um, spawns more enemies. They're called wizards, uh, and they can just spawn an enemy like right on top of your face and ruin everything. It's not fun. Oh no, I got hit. All right. That enemy also spawns there, and you can also ruin your day. Alright, we're good. Alright, good. Once you get the first one, it's pretty much guaranteed. Yeah, they left me alone. Alright. And now, after the second one, we're out of bounds again. If I jump over here, we can just run around in this area. So yeah. There's water to my left, but that doesn't matter. I'll never get close enough to it. And then the loading trigger is actually over here. Oh, why am I not potioning? I forget. I like rerouted the potions. Sorry, I got a bit distracted there from my parents, but uh, anyways, I clipped back out of bounds. Um, I got actually a really bad spot, and my camera flipped on me, and so I kind of panicked, but we were okay. I had to like figure out which direction I was going. And I also like came back in in a really bad spot. Luckily, if you jump at that corner, you clip back out of bounds, which is not a problem. So, we're good. Alright, so we're back in the sewers again. As before, um, we're going to do the exact same route, only it's going to be a slightly different in terms of where we're going, but majority of it is the same. So I'm going to clip back out of bounds here, drop down. Um, the one thing that's different now is I, my camera doesn't flip when I hit this door over here, so I have less time to actually perform this trick, but it's okay because I have potion and I'll just run right past it.
Plus, if this door... If it does, like, trap me out of here, we'll be fine, because there's a backup. Circles a bit. Should just, you know... Deload. There we go. And then, we're back here. The doors are open. These guys are still spawned, but I just run right past them, and they don't bother me. I'm gonna save again, just for pure safety. Alright. How many more components did I enter? And I came in with, what, two? One, two, three, four... Well, I gotta do some math here. Yeah, I got two. Um, grab that, please. Uh, shoot one. One after two. All right, I have enough. I thought I used one extra, but we're good. If I had, if I need one more, I just grab one of these chests in here, and it gives me five hundred yield points, and that's enough to buy another Mirka potion. Um, but the same route as before, I'm going to come back over here. The reason why I have to do this is if I fight the boss and actually kill him... Um, oh my god, camera please. <laughs> uh, I need the hook shot or the rope gun. I hate calling it the rope gun, even though it's the name of it. <laughs> I need the rope gun to get up here. Um, but this... Conveniently found by, I believe, Ababob. It really helps out, and no longer needs some dumb vertical edge play that is RNG dependent, in my opinion. There it is. Starberry, ugh. It's annoying in this section because if you do attack those, um, if you attack those slushies, it does flip your camera around, but it should be fine. I pretty much know where I'm going on the map, so. Oh no, I popped one. Okay, bye. Alright, we're good. Popping that Mirka Speed Potion is not the end of the world, because um, I was going to pop one here anyways. <laughs> Just a bit annoying, because I had to do that section a bit faster. I didn't have like the perfect angles. Alright, so here I'm going to swap... Oh no, not yet. Ignore me, I'm a liar. <laughs> so I have to come up to the top of this uh, castle, and at the top of this castle I have to fight a couple of waves of, of enemies, but they're fairly weak and they die rather quickly with uh, Nova Motes. If I had Supernova, they'd die in like three hits. <laughs> they're so weak. Um, but no big deal. After I fight these guys, I do have to fight a boss fight, and I believe that boss fight is the only one that actually drains... Oh, yo, they're ganging up on me. So, fun fact, I st Oh my god, this guy's still alive. Um, there was one run I did actually skip the Ancient Stone Sword. Ancient Stone Sword, what is this, Realm of Mad God? <laughs> the Ancient Sword. Um, and these guys like take so many combos, it's ridiculous. But as you can see, their health just like disappears. Oh my god, I'm getting double teams.
One more wave after this. Oh no. Get rid of them. Respawn right here. These guys can jump around so I really want to just kill them. Where does this guy go? There he is. Yo, the camera is not cooperating. Alright, good loop. Alright, so I'm gonna have to swap to Roberta here. Um, this boss fight is only weak to Roberta for the first section. Once you like fire three shots, then um, you can swap back to her and deal massive damage. But that's the gimmick of the fight, is I have to be Roberta for a little bit of it. Alright, Herbert is done. Time to go back to the bench with you. Again, I'm using jump slashes. These ones have to be a bit timed, because I do have invincibility frames, and you can hit them with your shield, and that just does no damage. Alright, that's one down. Please be Malice. Dude, she's dodging everything. Has a spite. That's fine. Spite's a bit annoying. I usually want to save her for last, but it's okay. I done damage her. Dude, she's getting hit by my shield. Shield, please stop hitting. Oh my god, this fight is going poorly. <laughs> Malice is a bit annoying because she poisons you and has like a bunch of other stuff. Alright, that was particularly slow. Sometimes it just like slap fest. I don't know. Sometimes they like cooperate and just die with their combos. They were not. Oh no, that was in a jump. Um, so now we're back in Fairyland. Um, the reason why we're back here is because the Darkest Fairy has taken over Fairyland, and now that we have the item uh, to defeat her, as well as Roberta, who's the only person that can wield the item, um, we're coming back to. Uh, overthrow her. And back to the animal staircase we go. <laughs> this time we're starting at the top and going to the bottom. Which is the same way we went when we came here the first time. But now we're going super speed. Um, once this potion runs out, I'm going to swap to Roberta, because I don't need... I need to use Roberta in the next area. But if I swap, my potion runs out, so... Okay. Just use the potion. Movement is so hard in these corridors. Alright, we're good. So this is the end of Act 3 here. Um, like I said, I skipped pretty much to the end of the end. I skipped to the end of the end of the Act 3. Yeah, no. I skipped to the end of Act 3. Um, just by completing the main bosses in Act 1. But yeah, all these puzzles here are pretty set. The same solution every single time. Two here, one here. And that's Act 3. Um, this is the third and final time I'll have to save and reset my console. Uh, but it's okay, because... <laughs> if I didn't save and reset my console to get my cloak back, uh, 
I'd have to do so much more stuff that's... and it's like so annoying. There's a stealth section... uh, what else is there? There's a quiz, I believe? I haven't done the section in a long time, but I absolutely hate the stealth section. <laughs> But instead, um, thanks to some well-known glitch finders in this game, we can skip like everything, and I don't deal with that annoying stealth section anymore. Once the game loads, that is. So right off the bat, we're gonna just run over here. Um, this there's a small cutscene that happens right here, but I jump on top of this ledge and just run alongside of it. The cutscene trigger isn't big enough, so it never activates. So I guess a cutscene skip right there. And if I come to this ledge at the precise distance, ah oh, dang, this one's a bit tricky. I'm getting the right angle though, or right, right distance. Let me go for a more shallow angle. Dude, this sun's not cooperating. Uh, am I gonna. No. Ah, uh, it's unfortunate. If I were to keep flying, I would actually soft lock and crash the game. So I'm gonna have to reload. Unfortunate. Waste a bit of time. No big deal. Happens sometimes. I wasn't getting like a good angle anyways. Same cutscene skip. <laughs> it's free. And then... Please game. You're giving me the, the low, low flies, but you're not giving me- oh my god. Just go out of bounds! Oh my god, dude. It doesn't take this long. Dude, it's being really picky today. There we go. Jesus, it took forever. Alright. And now we just fall down here and there's an elevator. Like, takes us to where I need to go. I believe this elevator is actually one of the trials. I'm not sure I haven't done this in a long, long time. But there's just so much stuff you have to go through in this like area. It's ridiculous. Um, but instead of going through this area, the place I want to go is right below our elevator, actually. And this ledge looks to be a pretty nice ledge. And so does this wall. And there's collision. I my angle's off. That has not happened for a long time, unfortunate. Okay, back to this ledge, I guess. <laughs> you know, take three. There's a lot of death poison in this game, by the way, so avoiding all of them but only hitting one is actually really good. Wow, I got it first try. This game is so much sympathy right now. Unbelievable, dude. <laughs> All right, let's let's do this for real now. <laughs> oh my god, that's so dumb. Well, 
Let me set up my angle correctly here. That's way better. Oh no, it's low angle. Shoot. Alright, take three. Alright, there we go. <laughs> it doesn't take that many tries. But you can get over the death plane just by jumping down here and landing on the stupid thing. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I just waste time. Ah, uh, this is water. And this is why I need all um, the elements. Because there's one for each one. Oh my god, and sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. I'm actually really surprised it happened this time. It's actually very easy. I kind of feel bad that I just messed that up, but oh well. Uh, but now we're going to go fight the final boss fight, and... The final boss fight is super hard. If I die on this boss fight, I will be really impressed. Like, and no, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. If I don't die in this boss fight, I'll be really impressed. Ugh. I'm just, uh, I'd, I'd have no words for this boss fight. Alright, one more combo. No, please, game. Mercy. Mercy. Oh my god, they're blocking me. I'm slowed. <laughs> oh my god. This is like one of the worst design final boss fights I've ever seen in a video game. <laughs> Sometimes those like minions will leave you alone and other times like now they'll just hit you until you die. Thankfully I had enough restored items that I didn't die. <laughs> Dude, what a chapter four though. Amazing. Oh no. Uh and that's time. So, <laughs> oh my god, that was quite the run. Um, I was actually on pretty good pace until the Act 4 happens, which honestly is very rare that it happens, but oh well. <laughs> Flubs happen, and I lost a couple minutes because of it. No big deal. But yeah, sub three, sub one thirty is pretty much guaranteed if as long as I don't die like more than three times. But in, in a real run, I wouldn't die honestly. It to die in this game, you really have to try and like mess up a trick. Uh, but other than that, that was Neopus Fairy.